Good morning, everyone. I'm Zach Wheeler, and I'm at Coles Hall here in Elmira College with Alex Taylor, art student here. You're an art education student. Alex, yes. thank you so much. No, thank you. This is a great opportunity. Yeah, it's so thank wonderful you. to talk to you. You've done a lot of art, not only here in the college, but also in the community. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in just a bit. But I want to kind of uh, find out how you got involved with art. Mm. So from like way back in the beginning? Well, yeah, way back in the beginning. I, like I suppose as a kid, I was always drawing I was always drawing um, in school I guess I was the kid who drew mm -hmm. you know um, mostly cartoons I growing up I wanted to be a cartoonist I thought that's what I would do um, I was always drawing cartoon characters coming up with names stories that sort of thing just your own yeah just my own oh, that's pretty cool um, I loved it um, yeah and, and then it, it developed from that yeah exactly so and then as I got older, started getting into more, you know, technical stuff. Mm -hmm. um, kind of went away from the cartoon side, but maybe I'll go back to it one day. Yeah, you never know. Never know. You know? Cartoons are fun. Yeah, I love it. So, yeah. what are you doing now? What am I doing now? Um, right now, I'm trying to get better at oil painting. So okay. that's what I love. Okay. That's my favorite medium. I suppose. How'd you get into oil painting? Because from cartoons, usually you're drawing and then yeah. you got, so how did you get yeah. into Yeah, so I, I would paint, I worked at a paint store in my hometown, Delhi Paint and Paper, and I would do their window displays. Oh, cool. Um, so making big, you know, paintings of just stuff, seasonal mm. things, you know, to bring customers in. And then I came to college and then I took a painting class with Aaron Cather and that kind of changed everything. Um, I guess I fell in love with oil paint after mm -hmm. that. I love the technical side mm -hmm. of it. I guess that's, that's probably my favorite part, um, the whole process. So the outcome is nice, but as soon as I'm satisfied with a painting, then there's really nowhere else for me to go. So I'll always be striving to get better technically, I think. And this is your, we're actually in your studio in, uh, at Coles Hall, which is really, really cool yeah. that the Amaya College gives you this opportunity to have this amazing space. And it really is a beautiful space mm. uh, to really create uh, wonderful views. Uh, when you're painting, what, is, what, are, what are you drawn to subject matter wise? Is it, is it nature? Is it something that's you know, mechanical? What is uh, some of the things you're drawn to? Definitely nature. So I'm a big fan of familiarity, okay. I guess, in my work. So. A lot of times I'll have people say, you know, that painting reminds me of my favorite vacation spot or that painting reminds me of my favorite hiking trail. And mm. them saying the kind of familiarity of my piece is kind of what makes me want to do more of those types of pieces, if yeah. that makes sense. It does. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break right here because I want to dive into a little bit more of your style because we're sitting here and, and some of your pieces are just absolutely breathtaking. Uh, and we're going to have more with Alex Taylor here from Elmira College in a matter of moments, so keep it here. Welcome back uh, and good morning. I am with Alex Taylor. He is an art education student here at Elmira College and he's done a lot of work not only here at the college when it comes to art but also around the community and we're going to talk a little bit about that in just a few moments because that was I'm pretty excited about that but we were in the last segment just talking about uh, some of the things that you like to paint and yep. you said it was familiar things like nature and you were, were obviously in your studio, which is really, really cool space. Uh, tell me a little bit about where you get your inspiration. Um, going outside, that's the biggest part. Um, I can't go on a drive or on a walk anywhere without looking around and seeing something that I want to paint, you know? Mm -hmm. um, just trees, hill, like hills, um, water, clouds, clouds, love painting clouds. Yeah. Um, I just love all that. And yeah. you practice over and over again, try to master those techniques of, of creating that balance of clouds and, and you know, the four shot, the four front and the back and that kind of. Yes, definitely. But I will say I kind of change up the way I paint, Okay. you know, clouds and sort of things. Um, 
because if you do it once over and over and over it's mm -hmm. going to look like that same thing mm -hmm. over and over and over and i don't want too much repetition yeah you know yeah now yeah. you have a piece here that's kind of in the works i do yes. which is it's which is you actually have you're talking about those clouds it's actually stunning thank you it's a fall i'm guessing fall ish or is it the sun on top of the tree this i'll let actually, you describe it this was <laughs> kind of early spring this year. Okay. So this is at my girlfriend Karina's house, her family home in Maryland, okay. Southern Maryland. And we were out with her family playing wiffle ball and the sky was just amazing. And I knew taking pictures of it and looking at it that I would make a painting out of it. Um, so I chose this 24 by 36 inch canvas and kind of just started painting. And you know, I've never painted yeah. orange grass before, but yeah. That's how it looked. Yeah, I mean, obviously, because it's the sun shining down on that, and, yeah. and it's beautiful because you can see, you know, the uh, obviously the amazing technical aspect of it. Tell me a little bit of how long did it take you to paint something like this? I would say a little bit over 20 hours. Okay. Yes, and I only get a couple of days a week, maybe mm -hmm. one of six hours in a day here. Mm -hmm. um, so I, whenever I get the chance, I try and make the most of it breaks are very important you have to do that because I've had some where you get so stuck into it and you're so close to it trying mm -hmm. to get the perfect you know detail that you miss the whole point of your original plan mm -hmm. you know so it's important to get the whole image first and then try and get stuck into the finer details I mean I have a few over here that um, I would do as practice yeah you know maybe it'll inspire a future piece but but you do practice pieces. I definitely practice, yeah. All right, well, that's pretty awesome. Well, yeah. when we come back, we're going to talk to Alex about some of the amazing projects that he's done throughout the Elmira community. So keep it here. Welcome back this morning. I'm with Alex Taylor here at Coles Hall in Elmira College. Alex is a art education major, a junior, and he's pretty active in the art community here. You've done a lot of stuff uh, with community arts of Elmira and Eldridge Park. Tell me a little bit about some of the stuff that you've been doing. Sure, it started freshman year um, during, well, it must have been around uh, November. Um, Lynn, she. Um, head of community arts she reached out and said you know we're looking for a mural mm -hmm. you know would you do a mural so I I did this winter scene it was probably the biggest painting I've ever done mm -hmm. it was with acrylic um, and we put it in a window which is now a Thai restaurant down on Water Street but that was the first thing I did with community arts and it kind of turned into a, a really nice you know membership yeah, mm -hmm. a good a good friendship as well because you've friendship done other sure. things yeah. um, with the Eldridge Park. You mm -hmm. two were very instrumental in the you know revising and helping out with uh, the carousel. Tell yes. me a little bit about that. Yeah. So last spring, um, she asked me if I would be interested in touching up the carousel, which I had never even really heard of. I didn't know what that would take. Um, so we planned it out, um, got all the paint, the supplies, and I would go there few times a week, spend a couple hours nitpicking all the little chipped paint mm -hmm. on all the beautiful horses and animals of the carousel. It was super cool. Yeah. And I think I'll do it a little bit again this spring. Yeah, tell me about that experience, because those are some historical um, you know, pieces. Obviously, there's mm -hmm. a lot of history with the, uh, the carousel in Eldridge Park. I mean, they're giant three-dimensional objects. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was definitely very different. And you would walk around 10 times past the same animal and then you would find one little spot that you missed and then you'd have to mix the exact color again and it was a process but I really enjoyed it it was great that has to be interesting so you mixed all the colors yes wow. uh, to get them in the ballpark okay so kind yeah. of like kind of yeah. like that. we'll have to go over and, and look at some of your work exactly. uh, yeah, yeah. so you're gonna go back there and do some more yes um which is great because I'm so fascinated by the artists that actually did them originally yeah you know because those didn't they, they weren't built with all those colors someone mm -hmm. went there and hand painted all of that and that's so cool to me but and you're in exams this week so i really appreciate you taking time 
out of studying, um, obviously, but you're a good student, so we don't have to worry about you. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to take a quick break, and when we return, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about Alex's art. He's got an exhibit that's showing here at campus, and we're going to have a little bit more with that, so keep it right here. Don't go away. Welcome back this morning. I'm with Alex Taylor. We're in Coles Hall, a beautiful view of the campus of Elmira College, and we're at Alex's art studio. He is an art education major here. Alex, thanks so much for being no, a part of this you. today. Yeah, it's great. Thank you, you. We were just talking in the last segment about some of your art and where it's located. You actually have some paintings hanging up in City Hall in Elmira. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Um, that was also through community arts. So Lynn reached out. She said, hey, there's a space in City Hall. I didn't even know where City Hall was. Yeah. I had no idea. But the fact that I could have pieces there, and we had an opening for it. So some members of the community came, um, some professors, mm -hmm. all the art professors from here, they went to it. That's and neat. Yeah, it was great to just do a communal thing and talk about art with everyone. Yeah. It was awesome. A great space. And you actually are showing some of your pieces here on campus as well, right? Yep. So in the 1855 room, it's the cafe here mm -hmm. on campus, in the campus center. Um, there was wall space, and so we set it up that me and a few other artists here at Elmira could hang some of our work. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you hoping to, now that you're moving in, obviously you're junior, you're moving into your senior year soon, what are you hoping uh, to accomplish during that senior year? Um, I want to get as much, like, I want to get as many pieces as I can done. Mm. Um, I'm trying to build my body of work to show wherever I can, um, build that portfolio, um, and just get better at painting before I go out into the world. Go out into the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, take your time. There's no rush to go out into the world. I've been there. It's not as mm. fun as you think. But <laughs> yeah. let me tell you, uh, you also do commission, right? I do. From what I understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. commission paintings. Yeah. Um, so to go back to the familiarity thing, yeah. if someone says, I love that, you know, that painting reminds me of this place, they may ask for a painting of that place, mm -hmm. you know, and each commission kind of what I have found leads to another, you know, so I don't want to do commissions the rest of my life, mm -hmm. you know, because when you do a commission, then you don't have it anymore. Yeah. You may have an image of it. You have the memory of painting it and mm -hmm. the connection with that person but I would love to be able to create my own pieces and have that as representing me. Well, that was you know? perfect. And I didn't have to leave it right there because that was amazing. You do have Thank an Instagram you. though. What's I your do. Instagram? So my Instagram is Alex underscore Taylor underscore art. Perfect. All lowercase. And that's all of your stuff. That's there. where I put everything, yeah. So we can, uh, well, obviously we're going to link that to our website as well. Alex, thank you so much thank for taking you. time no, out, thank you so much. especially during exam week, to yeah. <laughs> uh, be a part of this. And good mm -hmm. luck on exams. And of thank course, you. thank you for joining us uh, this morning. Uh, this is 18 News Today, and we're going to toss it back to the desk. <laughs>